tried his car buttress direct on Scarpel with Paul O'Reilly in 2017. We wisely drove over from the Dudden Valley to Ulfa to Westdale and the road was really treacherous and we managed to skid off a corner into a ditch and had to uh, build a ramp, jack the car up to get it back on the road. I managed to fall over carrying a big rock and uh, bruise my hip. So it wasn't a very good start to the day. The rest of the journey was very slow. I could only drive at five miles an hour. Uh, we managed to do a 360 on the road in Estale and we overshot every junction. Uh, the brakes were virtually useless. So by the time we got to the car park in Wasdale, time was getting up. Scarfell Crag is steeped in climbing history. It's got brilliant summer and winter lines and uh, Pisgah Buttress Direct goes up hard to persevere in summer but in winter it's one of the best buttress routes in the Lake District and certainly uh, after Bofell Buttress it's uh, one of the ones to go for but at six pitches long it's going to be tricky to do it in a day uh, in, in the depths of winter uh, unless you get an early start on it and certainly you need to take a head torch this is Paul leading pitch two. Um, it's tricky following the guidebook description for the winter line. So, uh, first time we tried it, we were in the clag and we couldn't really make sense of it. Coming back to it, I've used the rock guide, which was I found far more helpful. Uh, and basically, this pitch cuts diagonally across the buttress to the right to end up at what's called a crevasse belay on a ledge. Uh, just before an obvious Travis left, which is pitch three. High on pitch two, there's some tricky balancing moves. Most of the climbing on this route is five or six. Uh, first chimney, which starts up Bosun's buttress and then breaks out left, is awkward and strenuous to exit. Gear is generally good though, with wires, hexes, slings, and a few cams uh, doing the job. The Travis on pitch three is. Uh, Paul's Quite just exciting. It's got to some teetery yeah. moves. It looks like you're just shuffling along the ledge there, but in fact you have to do uh, some interesting moves. Look, look, you know, it's tricky finding hooks. The gear is good when you get to it, but um, you would certainly uh, take a bit of a swing if you fell off it. Pitch four becomes a lot more reasonable if you traverse right onto an you obvious foothold on the erect. Um, and after that it's it's not so bad. Yeah. The first time we tried the route in 2017 we only made it to the Travis and then we realised we were going to run out of time so we just wrapped off. Uh, this time we'd reached the top of pitch 4 in reasonable time so uh, it looked like uh, it was going to be a goer. Well done. That looked tricky that. The previous clip shows that uh, using a handheld camera okay. whilst belaying Dax dies doesn't produce the best results as far as videos go. This top pitch was supposed to be grade 4 but I found it to be the hardest uh, of the whole lot actually. Where Paul is there uh, had some really quite tricky moves with the gear being hard one. But once you've climbed up the broken rib into a, into a groove beyond, it does ease that. We reached the top just as the sun was setting, the conditions were brilliantly atmospheric, and we were both chuffed that we'd made it this time. <laughs> 